what is going on peeps the beard here for the beard reviews uh how's everybody doing this wonderful afternoon it is about 4 27 p.m uh, pacific standard time and I want to come into you to you here with a really short first look uh review of some of the vape mail i got today um i will be reviewing this later on uh this week but uh today i wanted to talk to you about and show you all uh the 454 big block clone from 101 vape so let's get right to this uh packaging uh and of course i have my packaging over here every time i think i'm ready i'm never ready anyways 101 vape pretty standard stuff and guys excuse the white balance i wasn't going to break out all of the production information just for a real quick first glance here as far as vape mail goes uh and for those of you who order from 101 you know simple affair just you know your invoice paper your packing slip uh, it's just a standard bubble mailer. One thing to note about this, I ordered this um, atomizer at 4.30 a.m. on Sunday night. It is now Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. So, uh, and it shipped yesterday at 4.45 p.m. And I literally got it today. That's like one, that's one day shipping. Um, I mean, from the moment it shipped to me. Um, and it made actually four stops, even though Carlsbad's only about two and a half hours from me, which is where 101vape.com uh, is located. That's fast because it made four stops. Um, Carlsbad stop, San Diego, San Diego, San Bernardino, San Bernardino to uh, my local post office and sorted and shipped out. So that's, a, that's pretty damn fast for the USPS. So way to go to them and uh, the USPS on actually doing something right. So there's that. Uh, the box comes in. Actually, this is made by Tobacco. As you can see, they have the standard affair box here. You know, nothing really special about this. Just standard affair, which I completely expect. It's a clone. It costs like $15. So, I mean, I'm completely fine and happy with this. Um, people talk a lot about packaging. And I've gotten a lot of clones that have nice packaging. I've got a lot of authentics that have had nice packaging. For me, it's not about the packaging or presentation. Um, as long as it's not damaged and I pull it out and it does what it's supposed to do, that's what I care about. Uh, these nice boxes and all these wood boxes like the Plumeville boxes and all that, etc. stuff with, you know, right here um, are nice. Yes, it, it does kind of spruce up the actual device, but it's just packaging. If I pull it out and my Plumeville has stripped screws or the holes aren't drilled or, you know, like a lot of the problems people are having with this particular devices, the packaging means nothing to me. So, just throwing that out there. Again, my opinion. IMO. Uh, it came with a really nice um, set of spares. Several, several O-rings. It also came with an Allen wrench and three uh, grub screws, which I was kind of laughing about because the 454 actually has five posts. Or five, the need of five different screws. Four for the ground ring and one for the center post where all your positive leads go through. So uh, maybe someone in China couldn't count. But anyways, came with that. And it came with a little bit of, uh, looks like three millimeter eco wool. So not bad for 15 bucks from 101 Vape and Tobacco. Uh, here's the actual device. It came with the drip tip. And for those of you who haven't seen the 454, uh, it's really unique in the sense that it has a special type drip hole for the drip tip. It actually side uh, airflow. So that way you don't get the uh, the splash up because you can see there's no hole there. And I'm really sorry, guys, for the white balance. Like I said, I just wasn't going to pull out all the production gear to do a first glance vape mail review. Uh, here it is on the uh, Panzer 26650. Uh, is it a clone? I don't know. They never really made a 26650 as far as I know. So clone slash not clone. Anyways, uh, so it, the, the, the threading perfectly perfectly done on the uh, on the 510 uh, I have noticed that the pin moves a little bit um, but that's whatever you know as long as I, I you know I put it on my meter when I built it and it uh, ohmed out perfectly did not flash or anything like that so I know there's no shorts uh, first impression on the way it looks because I literally just got this an hour ago looks the machine of this looks beautiful Never seen a real 454 uh, Addy, but impression of the clone itself, absolutely gorgeous. Um, pull the top off. What I got going on here is a um, quad coil 
it's only now at around 0.36 uh, and real quick you can see those screws there's five screws and those four screws on the base are for the little ground ring that I know many of you've probably seen in other reviews or if you have one yourself uh, like I said this is just a first look quality of the machining is just beautiful absolutely flawless has several different uh, air hole configurations and options I have it set for four because I have a quad clue going in here got the concave top and reduced chamber very thick walls looks very very nice so uh, let's go ahead and give this a vape real quick and then I'll let you guys go hmm not vaping let's see what is going on here okay I'm back sorry about that yeah uh, it wasn't vaping it wasn't making a connection uh, like I said I'll talk about this in the full review but the pin for some reason on the bottom the 510 pin is not supposed to be just because it's flat copper uh, in case I didn't mention that and uh, it is protruding for some reason and when I tighten it down it starts to protrude even more um, so there's the bottom 454 main USA which really pisses me off but I'll get into that later on as I start to progress in my reviews about the whole labeling and logoing thing but uh, I don't know why it seems to come out for some reason but anyway so uh, now let's, let's let's get this bad boy back on the Panzer clone and uh, I'll let you guys go and get out of here Uh, yeah, the white balance is obviously making the vapor look more than it is, so I apologize for that, but that's kind of the way it works right now with my lighting because I didn't pull everything out. But uh, like I said, for me, first impressions, great little clone. It looks awesome. Uh, like I said, this is the first build I did. It's not really impressing me right now uh, as far as my build, but that could be my build. Uh, I will work on this for a little while, hopefully get you guys a review uh, later this week with the uh, full breakdown get some zoomy zoomy going on and uh and tell you guys what i think but so far i give it a thumbs up especially for craftsmanship and for the way it works uh it is very very nicely machined and for a clone it's pretty damn nice for 15 dollars and 99 cents and with 101 vape uh it's a dollar 99 shipping so like i said it basically comes out to like 17 dollars and 99 cents basically from 101 vape so there it is guys Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. The beard here is out, and I hope you guys have a great afternoon.